Greetings metal community, it's Roger back with another video. Um, yeah, mostly death metal, or in the vein of death metal, at least. Um, in the background we are listening to uh, cutover coils. I think they're from Greece. Not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure about it. Pretty cool drawings. And of course, black vinyl. It's the YouTube playing in the background, of course. Then you have the skull from the cover. Yeah, great, uh, filthy, filthy, dirty, horrible death metal. Um, yeah, just an excellent release. Uh, really, really good uh, ripping on this one. And uh, you have this great organic drumming. Everything is done right, uh, and, and yeah, so if you don't know Cutover Coils and the album title is Offerings of Rapture and Decay, go and check it out, this is a great, great album, I really recommend this, and uh, yeah, this is the only vinyl I'm gonna show on this uh, in this video, so um, hope you enjoy it, I can turn it up a little bit more. But yeah, excellent stuff. Then I have a bunch of CDs. Uh, these have been laying around for a long time and I just need to get them out of the way into the shelves. Um, a lot of bits and pieces that I picked up. Uh, this is a Vic Record uh, uh, Necrosanct from England. Kind of a compilation out on Vic Records. Legacy, uh, fun stuff to have, you know, not their best uh, efforts here, but um, always like demos and stuff like that, so it's cool. Then I picked up um, this uh, Godgory album, this is their second, I think. Turn down the lighting a little bit, there you go. Pretty cool CD, and as I said, not their best. This is kind of melodic death metal, gothic melodic death metal. Uh, pretty unique sounding, but um, yeah, um, they have done better than this. It might be their third album as well, I, I don't remember, but um, yeah, my least favorite by them. They're, they have a couple of pretty great albums. Then I picked up uh, Abyssus from. Um, I think Germany with this smoldering album pretty uh, yeah great again a little bit dark and evil murky death metal in a way not so murky but about it in that kind of evil style of death metal I think this uh, has an EP attached to it as well, so a compilation of sorts. I've not played uh, this whole thing yet, but uh, I've listened to the album on online, so uh, I know what I have. I can take a couple of tapes as well, just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, Noxious Rune released this um, Wild Spawn. Chilean death metal, pretty good stuff. Has this um, cool fold out paper cover. So, yeah, order it uh, through Noxious Ruin. Um, I'm guessing they are responsible for it, but uh, yeah, cool, cool stuff to have. And um, I kind of like this paper fold out covers but uh, I don't know how um, well they will hold up need to find a way to preserve them maybe then I bought a reissue of a um, band from Portugal I think uh, called Disaffected this is uh, their 95 album they are still active I have not listened to them 
any other releases than this one. I just listened to a couple of songs and thought it was cool. It's kind of a a bit technical, progressive death metal. There's also a lot of thrash in it. Um, but uh, yeah, if I had discovered this in '95, I would be uh, happy. But I uh, cool to discover good stuff like this. Um, you know, just out of the blue. Then we have a absolute killer album that I have been... I don't know why I haven't bought this before, but... Um, Abominance. From US. This is vicious... Uh, death Metal. Great album. This is a absolute killer album. Um, if, if you want some evil and furious... Um, sounding... Um, Death Metal. This is uh, highly recommended. I played this a lot. Uh, I have not checked out any other albums by them because I kind of understood that this is this is the best one they have made. But I need to check out more stuff from them. So, um, Abominant and the title was uh, Unspeakable Horrors. I think this original came out in '96, but don't. Um, Chop my head off if, I, if that's ro wrong. Then I picked up uh, this one. I think can play this in a video. Blast Corpse, uh, glorified from uh, Netherlands. Really good uh, death metal, old school, of course, sounding. Yeah, this came out in 2005, but it has a really 90s feel to it. A little bit evil. Uh, feel to it as well, but yeah, really solid, solid uh, album. Then uh, this, I don't know if I've shown this before, but I, th I feel I have. But uh, Trench Foot's Moral Obscenity, I don't buy much EPs now, but this was fucking brilliant. I think they are from UK. I might be wrong, but uh, let me know if I'm totally off with that yeah you can see by the color what you get here but uh, yeah this was really really good and you know being an EP you can play this a hundred times in one hour and then you're done with it but uh, yeah looking forward to hear uh, full length from them as I said I'm not so happy about EPs anymore I don't buy them often but uh, yeah trench foot was a really really good one then I picked up the uh, court Corprophilia, Corprophilia demo collection 9192. Uh, this was a Finnish uh, death metal band started up uh, in the same time as you know Demlik and the other ones. Um, the first half of this is recorded in a studio and it sounds pretty damn good. A little bit out of balance uh, when it comes to you know levels of vocals and drums and stuff, but uh, great music. Uh, the second half of this is kind of a rehearsal recorded on a four track. Uh, it does not sound well, it sounds like a four track recording, uh, often does. Um, know it by myself, we used four track and eight track back in the day, so yeah. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, the first half there is great finish uh, death metal, and the second half is kind of just. Um, it's just too bad sound on it. Uh, the vo vocals are more like deep, throaty, like Finnish style vocals, and on the four track they kind of drown in the mix. Uh, Rick over at Dreadful Minutes show this pretty recent. Epi up. Um, numero 2. Second album by them. Uh, Funeral Doom or Doom Death. Great stuff, uh, if you're into that style, you don't kind of need any pointers, you just need to know, uh, but this is a great one, so uh, I recommend you to check out Epitaph, I will link uh, some of this stuff up below, but up below, down below, maybe. Then I bought a compilation of uh, Noxus, Path of Visceral Fear, pretty good uh, US death metal, I think the US band. I might be wrong, but I take my chances. Uh, this is a collection of uh, demos and EP, and I think there's some that was on a split. 
especially the first uh, songs here or first six, seven songs are really good uh, production on it. Um, of course, not everything is is like uh, top notch sound on, but uh, a great uh, release of uh, kind of um, I would say it's US death metal, but more old school. Um, kind of a not so technical uh, and slamming suffocation in a way. Uh, there's not slamming here, but it, it's, it's kind of the sound reminds me a little bit of suffocation. Then I bought a split with Haunter and uh, yeah, three Nodia. Haunter uh, released a fantastic uh, album earlier this year, so I had to pick up their earlier stuff. The music here is great, but the vocals on both bands are kind of this um, distorted vocals and I hate that shit, but the music is very good on both of them. And if you can handle distorted vocals, just uh, check it out. I think Liam showed this uh, also in his last video, or second to last video. This is uh, Necro Blasphemy. Necro Blasphemy's Rites and the Crypt. So, uh, another compilation. This is on uh, Morbid Chapel Records. And uh, Morbid Chapel Records do release some cool stuff together with the Rotten Tune. Kind of a cool CD as well. I think they're from Germany. Might be wrong, but. Uh, Good, good uh, death muscle. Really like this one, and you can get it cheap on uh, on uh, Morbid Chapel. Then the rest of the CDs are s I st uh, picked up from Awakening Rec no uh, Awakening Records uh, from um, Huang Quan Records. I always mix those two up, but Hung Hung Quan uh, Records was uh, um, Ken did a series of this. He had, I think he had two videos. We showed a lot of this. Um, Ali had all this, I think. Uh, so these next four are from that kind of. Uh, I ordered. I've shown some of them before, but I just, yeah, they've been lying around for a long, long time. The uh, first one is uh, the darkening. It's kind of a uh, doom. Yeah, I don't know if they do me, but more like. Uh, Kind of goth, uh, death, doom, and death metal. It's, it's kind of mixed up. There are some um, female vocals here and there, and some keyboards. It's a little bit like um, early Crematory uh, from Germany. It has a little bit of feeling of that, especially the synth is kind of the same level. Also have these um, OB strips. A pretty cool um, looking CD as well. So, so it's kind of, I would say, sounds like a little bit unfinished, a little bit like, um, yeah, not the best riffs all over. But uh, in total, it's a good one. But but it's not a, um, I must have to say uh, say that. Uh, then I got this Medicine Death from, uh, this is a, um, or was a uh, Brazilian um, kind of death doom or doomy death metal band. Uh, I do remember them to be, this is from 92. And this is kind of, when I listened to this I, I liked it, but it kind of never grew. I, I listened to this quite a bit because I felt I should like it better than I do, but uh, yeah, Medicine Death, Genetic Radioactive Experiments, uh, and it was kind of, um, yeah, it didn't go anywhere, uh, apart from being good, but it, it was not more than that, so uh, yeah, you can check it out yourself. Uh, this one was actually musically damn good, I mean, everything is good about this, except from the production, and that's... Um, Blessed Sickness, Massacre the Unholy, no, Massacre the Holy, of course. Um, this came out uh, 90, 
yeah, I don't remember exactly, 93. Uh, the music on this is, you know, US death metal, top-notch stuff. Uh, but it's kind of the production, it feels like you stand in a hall, empty music hall and play, and you have kind of uh, microphones picking up. So, so everything seems distant from, it don't pop out like it normally would from a recording. And it, it's kind of sad because it's a great album. Um, and it, it doesn't help turning up because you have, have the same feeling that they kind of are distant from from the microphones, um, so a, a bit weird, but uh, musically this is a great uh, death metal release. Um, I will link it up below so you can go and check it out. But uh, as I said, uh, if this had had a proper or proper better production on it, uh, I would love this album because uh, it's it's quality death metal for sure. So um, blessed sickness. It will mo most definitely get my uh, my approval if, if, if the production had been up to par, but uh, the music is, is better than the production, kind of. So that's weird, weird stuff. And we have a band from Hungary, I think, uh, Monastery, Far From Christ. Uh, this is pretty good stuff as well. Uh, I mean, this is back in the 90s and, and this band I think changed style uh, after this so uh, I haven't checked out anything after this one but um, this was a, a good one as well so uh, and and you know when you get to, to the more um, obscure countries in, in Europe they do have a, a kind of more twisted death metal than you know US death metal it's all inspired but by the old other scenes but um, it, they have their own twist on it and uh, yeah I really like this one I play this a lot then the last uh, and uh, kind of a disappointed this is uh, released from old shadow records vermin from Sweden uh, plunge into oblivion Musically, this is great. I mean, it's recorded in uh, in uh, Sunlight Studios in '94. Should be a uh, you know Swedish classic, but I really don't like the vocals on this album. I think they are the vocals are too weak for the music. It's kind of uh, it is a bit melodic, but the vocals are very like the melodic death metal scene in Sweden or the Gothenburg. Scene, so, so he kind of falls through for me, uh, does not uh, deliver, but the music is good. So uh, kind of a disappointment, um, this was a blind buy, I have just seen people talk, talk good about this, but um, yeah, it is okay, but uh, the vocals destroyed for me. So yeah, that was all I had, and uh, the video was a little bit too long, but um, then I had to just get uh, stuff out of the way. Uh, thanks uh, to all the commenters and um, the new subscribers and everything, uh, really enjoyed it, uh, pretty close to 400 subs now, so that is really cool and uh, thanks to all of you, old and new, and uh, I will see you pretty soon, there's a couple of more videos coming up uh, right around the corner, as we say here in Norway, so be sure.